pajama party. If you love pancakes, rub your tummy and say yum yum. Ready? Yum yum. My mom helped me mix the batter and pour it in the pan. She even let me flip the pancakes. It took me a while to get the hang of it, but after some practice, they turned out great. I made so many fun pancakes. But then I found out only one of my friends can come to the party. That makes me so sad. I even used fun shapes, see? Here's a smiley face, a heart, a star, and my favorite, an owl pancake. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. How do you do? Can that pancake say, who? Who? Oh, hi, Ollie. I made such fun pancakes. But only one friend can come to my pancake pajama party. One is a small party, yes, it's true. But there's still joy waiting for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. You have joy and you know it, clap your hands. Well, hello, friends. Happy day to you. I'm Justin the Mailman, and do I have a story for you about why we can have joy today. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. If you do, clap your hands. Well, it sounds like you're ready for the story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. This true story from the Bible begins with Jesus teaching. Jesus told a story to teach us how much God loves us. It starts with 100, get ready for them, sheep. Okay, little sheep, stay together. Now, where is the shepherd? 
There he is. Wow, look. They all listen to him. That's because the shepherd takes good care of the sheep. The shepherd loves the sheep. He gives them food and water, and he doesn't want any of the sheep to get lost. One day, the shepherd was counting his sheep. How many does he have again? Do you remember? 100, that's right. So he was counting 97, 98, 99. Wait, where is number 100? One sheep is missing. Well, what should the shepherd do? He had 100 sheep, but one got away. So now he has 99 sheep. 99 sheep is still a lot. Do you think the shepherd should stay with the 99 sheep or go find the one that is missing? Hold up one finger if you think the shepherd should go find the one sheep. That's what the shepherd did. The shepherd went to go find the one lost sheep because the shepherd loved each and every one. Do you want to help the shepherd find the sheep? Yeah! You do? Then everyone get out your sheep finding goggles. Are you ready? All right, let's help the shepherd find that sheep. The sheep could be anywhere. Is the sheep up here? No, that's just a bird in a tree. Keep looking. Is he down here? No, that's a camel. Where, oh where, could our little lost sheep be? <gasps> Wait, there he goes. Follow him. There you are. We found you, little sheep. The shepherd put the sheep on his shoulders and took him home. He rejoiced because he found his lost sheep. Jesus told us this story to teach us how much God loves us. The shepherd loved his sheep just like God loves us. God loves you and me so much. Everyone is important to God. So we can have joy all the time because God loves us all the time. He loves you in the morning so you can have joy. He loves you in the afternoon so you can have joy. He loves you when you go to bed so you can have joy. God loves you all the time, so you can have joy when? Say it with me. All the time. <laughs> oh, hey, Ali, tell me. Who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. The shepherd loved every one of the sheep, and God loves every one of us too. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God loves us just like the shepherd loved his sheep. That means we can have joy all the time because God loves us all the time. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I can still have joy even though one friend is coming to my pancake pajama party. One friend or 100 friends. We're going to have so much fun eating all these pancakes. See you next time. A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22.